In order to manage the services of your database instance, you can use the SQL Server Configuration Manager to achieve this. So from your start menu, you can select SQL Server Configuration Manager and it will open up the Configuration Manager interface. Here you have various services. So let's start with SQL Server Services. So the first service is the SQL Server Browser. This allows you to connect to the right instance on the server. However, we have only one instance running so we don't need to enable it. However, if you need to enable it, you can right click, select properties, then select service. And then for the start mode, you would change it to manual or automatic. And then you would select apply. So I'm going to cancel this. Then you have the SQL Server service. As you can see, it's in a running state. The startup mode is automatic. To change the startup mode, you would right click, select properties, select service, and then change your startup mode. The startup parameters will come in handy if like you're implementing a trigger and then you automatically lock out yourself out of the database, then you need to change your startup modes, but for most cases, you don't need to trouble them. And these are more advanced settings that more often than that, you don't really need to make any changes to them. You can also change your service account and specify a username and password. So I'm not going to make any changes here, so I'm going to select cancel. And for the SQL Server agent, the startup mode was set to manual, so we can do a start. Your SQL Server agent is used for scheduling and automating. Another important configuration you need to be aware of is the SQL Server network configuration. This allows you to change network settings for your server. So right click, so select network configuration, select protocols and then select TCP IP. If you click on the IP address tab specifically, you will see your port number. So this is where you can change the default port from. So most of the time, if you're experiencing connectivity issues, this is one of the first place you want to start doing your troubleshooting. And you want to ensure your IPs are enabled. Then select OK. This is where you will come to start and stop your services, as well as you can do it from Windows services. So if you're supposed to go to services on your computer, you should be seeing similar settings under the SQL Server section. And you can change the setting from here just as you would do it from the configuration manager. In the next lecture, we'll be taking a look at working with SQL Server in a Docker environment.